this, this new show I'm coming out with called Song Origins, where I'm just going to be asking people about their songs. Okay. Some of my favorite songs and kind of just give me like a, I guess like a quick little backstory slash, you know, thought process behind it. It doesn't okay. have to be too long. I, I got some songs written down here. And then if you can remember, you know, the process or whatever, just kind of okay. give me a story. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. All right. The first one, I would say this is probably my favorite one right now. It's called okay. Nice Nice to Meet Me. Yes. Yes. I love that song. First, hold on. Let me tell you why I love that song because I heard it. I'd be playing that in the gym. Like, I listen to RB in the gym, but yes. man, I heard I was listening to that album and that's the one that just stuck out to me. And I'm like, man, he's talking about, well, at least this, what I got from it is like, you kind of lost yourself. Yes. And now you're kind of getting back to yourself. And I was like, man, I can relate to this because last year, like the last couple of years, I've been kind of like on this journey where I'm like finding myself really just like growing up to, I'll be 40 this year. So I feel like I'm just now <laughs> coming yeah. into my, my own. Yeah. Well, yeah. So that, that, that record really spoke to me. So can you tell me like, what was your thought process? Like the backstory on that record? Yeah. Like and, and nice to meet me was actually written during a time where I finally felt comfortable with, just where I was in life. Like, I feel like, you know, again, being an independent artist and, and having managers and having so many different people like pulling you in different directions, you feel a sense of insecurity about almost everything that you do. So when I worked on Nice to Meet Me, I was like, this is the first time in my life where I feel like who I am is who I am and what you get is what you get. And I'm happy with who I am. Like, I'm so happy with where I am in life, with, with, with family. Uh, I have a new, had a new baby girl at that time. Like, it was just like, like, like I was just finally felt like I was just there. And uh, what's crazy with, with artists and, you know, this music industry in general, you know, they'll have you in so many different directions. Like uh, when I was, you know, under, uh, signed to different entities or whatever, they were always trying to tell me what type of song not to make and what type of song to do and and who my competition was and, and, and all this kind of stuff. And like, that really plays with your head for a long time as an artist. Like you're like unsure sometimes of like what kind of song do I release first? And then, you know, being fully independent and having people that follow my lead and, and having a team that follows, you know, what I want to do I was at this point now where like, this is a song, like I'm so happy to meet Justin. Like I'm so happy to meet who I am. So that's exactly what that song was about. Yeah, dope. Well, yeah, thank you for that record. That's the dope one. I, I play it often. That's one yeah. of my favorites. I appreciate All it. Right. Yep. All right, um, let's see. What else I want to ask you about? All right, let's 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 do a love song to myself. I like yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kind of like, the, is that kind of like the same vein as uh, Nice to Meet Me? It, it is, it is. Uh, so love song to myself, I was like, I realized I had written so many songs that were just like love songs about, you know, the, the girl that I lost or someone that was heartbroken or, you know, the person that felt unappreciated. But I was like, I need an actual love song for me. Like I was like, I need something that when I, when I want to play something to where like, I feel like it is all about me. Like I do it for me. Like the lyrics in that are, Everything I do, I do it all for you. But the one that's hurt, a piece of me I lose. So like it was saying like a piece of me I lose when I don't do something for myself. So I was like, I gotta start moving for myself, man. And and that's what that song came about. And was was crazy on TikTok now. I think it's in like I don't know how many like over twenty thousand TikTok. Oh, yeah, TikTok videos like people just got the clip and they're doing like their selfies and the, you know, the, the ladies are getting ready to go out, whatever. Like they're just like mm -hmm. filling themselves off of this song. And I'm like, that is exactly what it's for. Like this yeah. is like my own personal anthem. Yeah. Yeah. That song is dope. Like yeah. I said, your, your pin game is I'm not a songwriter, but I like, like I, I had this goal. Like one day I want to write an R&B song, but yeah. I, I don't know how to write an R&B song, but I just think that I have good ideas. But so when I hear a song that I think is written well, or like in a way that's not 
written before, like I, I tip my hat to it. So like a lot of your songs are written very well. It's not like basic songwriting. Yeah. So I think that that's another reason why I like you as an artist, because I'm like, okay, like the way you're writing is just, you know, not everyone could write like this. I appreciate so, it. And yeah, thank props to your songwriting. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's get into a uh, bloom is one yeah like also can you yeah. tell me about that song yeah bloom is when you are in that new relationship and like everything just feels good like you're blooming into something so much more than what it was intended to be so that one you know the production on it is very like like swingy it's very like slow but then it like builds and it's very like you know, just soulful. That's exactly where that comes from. Like, I wanted that particular song to feel like something that was actually growing. Like, I wanted the soul and the vibe of that song to grow as you go throughout the song. So, yeah, that's one of my favorites, too, for sure. Yeah. I don't know if uh, you do this intentionally, but I feel like you have a lot of songs that are just... I, I think the word is sync. Is, is it syncs where they you get yes. to play it in the... Yeah, I feel like you have a lot of music for that. Is that done intentionally, or is it just... You know, that's just how, because I feel like this song could be yeah. in an actual yeah. uh, movie or a series. Yes. You know, what's, what's crazy, man, uh, I, I listen to a lot of, you know, Sam Smith, Adele. Uh, I love big ballads and I love big R&B ballads. So I was like, when I was writing that particular song, I always saw like that song in a movie and a couple of other songs that I have, like, I always think of like how big can I go like instead of doing, you know, like a trap song or whatever, or, you know, whatever, if I have the vocals, I want to showcase those vocals. And like, I want to make sure like I'm singing and people can feel it to where when they hear it, they're like, yeah, I can see this like in a, a romance scene or something. And that's exactly, you know, I, I guess you can say it is intentional. Yeah. 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 That, that song is dope. I didn't post that. I got to post that one on the page. I haven't, I think oh, yeah. I just, I was, um, listening to some of your songs i was trying to go back and see which ones i wanted to ask you about yeah. and i think bloom was one i was kind of listening to today i'm like damn how, how did i miss this one right. that one is really good okay i asked you about prom night i like i like that song too prom night yeah i guess that's kind of <laughs> self-explanatory but oh, was yeah. that inspired by anything i feel like with prom night i wanted people to when you think of prom night, like, everybody has like a memory of like high school and like in high school, this is when like your feelings are finally like revved up. Like, you know, you got that first, you know, your girlfriend or your boo and you're like, oh yeah. Like, like it's just a feeling. Like once, mm -hmm. once you even have any like memory of high school, you, you think of like, man, time was good back then. Like this was like a good time. And so when, when I thought about that feeling, I wanted to create that moment of like when you step from you know, from high school onto adulthood, and that's prom night. Everybody has that moment. Everybody has that first kiss at prom night. They get their first dance. That you know, that was you know the moment when a lot of people just kind of let loose finally. So that's exactly what prom night is about. Again, songwriting. This is what I mean by songwriting. He could have just said it in a, in a different way, but he's painting the picture for you. Yes. And now you get a perfect picture. Like, oh, okay, yeah. So yes. Now, that's what I mean by great songwriting. Okay, cool. So I got a couple more that I want to run through. Okay. Uh, let's do Cry On Me. Yes. Cry On Me. Yes. What was, what was uh, the thought process behind that one? Family. Family, bro. Like, uh, that was right when I had my, my, my brand new baby girl. And I was like, whatever she goes through, like, I, I thought about, like, when she gets older and she's living life and when she's facing like storms and, and difficult moments, I want her to know that she can always come to me to cry on me. And then that translated into just women in general, like sometimes, you know, especially black women, they bear the weight of the world like on them. You know, and I say that because, you know, my mom, single mom, my dad passed away when I was two. And she literally, man, was like working two jobs. She was like, just, doing whatever to like make us successful. And so I wanted to make sure like sometimes a woman needs to hear a song to where they get to cry on somebody and not have to always be like so strong all the time. Like they are, you know, vulnerable 
creatures. So they deserve to be, you know, pampered and they deserve to be attended to like that. Yeah, yeah, that's another beautiful record. Yeah. Thank How old you. is your daughter? I got I got a daughter too. She's one. <laughs> She's one. Oh, okay. One. Yes. Yeah. Um, did you um want a daughter first or did you want a son? Believe it or not, bro, I want all girls. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I grew up in a family of nothing but brothers. So it's like we need some little girls in here that we could pick up and kiss. You know what I mean? Like we don't, I don't, I'm, uh, you know, I got nothing but brothers. So I'm like, yeah, we need some little girls. Yeah. The reason why I asked you that is because, so I have two, I have a son and a daughter, but okay. I wanted, I always wanted a son. And then the daughter, I was just like, well, you know, if, if it's in the cars, but I always wanted a son. So I yeah. got my daughter first and I was thinking like, man, you know, I was happy of course, cause I, it was a baby. And I was like, as long as it's healthy, but in, in my head, I was just like, how am I going to connect with, yeah. with uh, a girl? But yeah. now she's seven, about to be eight. And I'm like, man, this is, God knew what he was doing. Yeah. Is this exactly what I needed? Like, cause like, yeah, she's basically what I want in a woman, but she's, you know, my daughter. Exactly. Like, unconditional love. Just, and I was just like, just blown away. So. I don't know if you're feeling that now, but you might feel that when she gets older, it's like she's like girl dad. Exactly. So exactly. That's that's the love that I don't think a boy could necessarily give you, even though you know my son is we cool, but yeah. yeah. So congrats on uh the the baby, man. Thank you. Uh, Thank kids, you. Kids are wonderful. Has that like inspired like your music or gave you like a new outlook on things? It does because now it it means like I want to make sure for sure whatever I create now, you know, speaks to women in just a, a good light. Like I don't ever want her as she gets older to go back and look on YouTube if YouTube is in existence and be like, what was my dad talking about? And then I had a song that was like, <laughs> you know, about you know I got this chick on the side and I got this other chick. Like I don't want her to be like, yeah. oh. like I want her to be like, you know, my dad was creating, you know. A legacy and creating you know vibes that spoke to women so i think that would that would be really important for her for sure yeah yeah i remember at the time my daughter was born i was djing at a strip club oh, man. and yeah and, and now i was like yeah i gotta quit this because eventually right. she's gonna ask me where you work and i just wasn't ready <laughs> right 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 ready to ask answer those questions so yeah kids definitely change you Oh, yes. All right. Let me see. Um, do we got all right? Let's do let's do this last one. And this is called uh Red Hot. Okay, yes. But tell me about that one. Red Hot is strictly about love making. Mm. Strictly, strictly about it. Uh it's, it's I feel like it's it's straightforward, but at the same time, like it's I wanted that particular song just to sound like just like fire. Like I wanted it to sound like just some red hot passion, and I feel like People connected with that song a lot too. That one was featured on Spotify as Fresh Finds, R&B, Apple Music, New and R&B. Uh, mm. You know, so all of the DSPs, man, were like on it. And that was a really, really big moment, I feel like for me. Another song too that that got people looking, you know, at, at Justin Garner. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't get the the Usher comparison on that particular song. But I think that was a moment people were just like, the song was so, so needed. And it was so R&B and like, people were just like, like, yeah, I guess bump the, the, the comparisons. Cause I would get Jason Derulo stuff comparison too. Yeah. Hmm. With that one, people were just like, who is this that's singing this? Like, and where is he? So that was another song too that, that really popped off. Yeah, cool. 